Yeah. Any comments about Bill? Oh, where do you start? <laughs> there, there was never a dull moment. Let's see, in the fourth, about the fourth or fifth grade, when we almost burnt down St. Sebastian's because his mini bike won't start and blamed it on the gas, poured some on the ground, and got it on fire, and it burned. And Greg's buzzard decided that the gas can was close to the fire and gave it a kick. So, you, so you knew him back in elementary school? Oh yeah. Wow. I thought he uh, started riding after uh, he. He cut back on his skydiving. No, oh, that's been a lifelong. Life Always. For all of us. Because I remember he had that modified motorcycle after he broke his back, yeah. you know, and that he could still ride. That was. After he broke his back, that's when he that's when he broke, built his first right first right there for his first like right uh, yeah. Honda. And they'll go away. Wheelchair. Yeah. I'm ready for one of those tricycles too. Oh, I think. he's got that full 450 Hawk. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. They got that the hell out of that thing. Yeah, that was a. They take a beat too. That's one of his. Oh, that's your stick yeah. man, huh? Yeah. His, uh, He's got Sally and Susie. <laughs> I can't remember all the names. It's grass. His spirit was irrepressible, I remember. Yeah. I used to skydive with him. And it was just something else, I mean. I'm going to miss him. Total his bike out in Seattle and it burst into flames and I watched it all happen in my mirror. What, what year? What, what, what he made? Yeah. yeah. But he made another trip though too that he went around. Yeah, with you guys. Yeah, when we were out in yeah. 90, 98. Yeah. What year was he? Did you do the Seattle trip? That was in 96. Holy shit. That's a long drive. Yeah. yeah, and we didn't go in a straight line to get there. And he had a goozy too? Motor goozy, yeah. And you know this guy we brought, call it the Antichrist. And, and you know this guy when he got out when he got out of the hospital from his real bad heart attack at the end? The first day he got out of the hospital he was working on his bike because he had to go to surgery. Yeah. Wow. Well after his first surgery he was back ice racing, what, three weeks later? Ice racing? Yeah. You mean with those studded tires? Yeah. Holy smokes. <laughs> I'll never forget that. He, we, them guys got tangled up in corner three. And he got took right off the bike, right in the chest of the sidecar tire. He cleared the snowbank and the lake was just like glass. He just bounced all the way across the damn lake. That's and the secret of ice racing. You don't spend all of your energy in one <laughs> You hardly ever get hurt while you're racing. Yeah. You get hurt worse standing on side of the bike, falling straight down. You lose all your energy in one spot. Yeah. Oh my God. ice fishing after I started getting into a habit where every time I'd go out ice fishing and I'd, you know, the holes and stuff, I'd be just not paying attention. Step into one. Step into one. And you're all the way up to here in ice cold water yeah. and I'm like, that's not fun. And you can't get your boot back through the hole so yep. you got to reach down there and take your boot off and pull it up through the hole. Yep. That's why I don't like people with 10 inch augers. Yep. <laughs> don't like it. That's just enough to break your leg when you oh, yeah. step in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easy to bring it up too, for that matter. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I took a bunch. Of, I took a bunch. Of uh, that was always our theory of ice racing. The faster you go, the less it hurts. Yep. Angle. Angle. Now, when you go into the the turn, do you screw it open? You know, like the the the, the, the flat. Yeah. Same as the flat trackers. Lean forward enough for the front tire to stick. Drift it. Wow. Talk and roll. <laughs> Unless you just put a CR250 yeah, engine in your MR250 frame and the geometry was a little wrong and you spend all your time in the change up of the corner spinning around in circles and going boom. This elbow was really sore that next day. That's all I could think about when I started ice surfing. You need to go faster. I needed to go faster. He was always too crazy for me. I never wanted to get on the back of the bike with him. About six years ago, I was down here visiting, and he was meeting us someplace, and he was like, come on, come on, get on the bike. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get on the bike with Bill. And we're riding through her scene, you know, traffic, etc. And I'm like, okay, no helmet, no leathers. I'm on the back of the bike with Bill. I 
would have never done this when he was healthy and years ago, and now I'm doing it today. I'm not, we got there in one piece, but I was like, this is this is crazy. Oh, he's still in. I rode in the bike with Bill too. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Give me a ride to go pick up my car. Yeah. Oh, here we went to your place over to the county fair. That's a scary ride. Who's down? Jump on with Bill. Just say, you know. They didn't even have sidecar yet. Well, I think we're going to go. It's funny you say that. I was going over to the coast the other day. Okay. And all of a sudden there was like three or four white people. Something around the car. Next thing I know, I'm counting white vehicles. I can't pick up a canister <laughs> without a <laughs> shit. And I have one of Bill's canisters with two seeds in it with Rat City cheese. The little label we put on it. I still got to see if they'll germinate. <laughs> All he wanted was some cookies. And everything. I render out the butter. And, you know, that was like the last, the last, my last. <laughs> Maybe. To Bill was making him a double batch of Tall House cookies. Oh. I says, well, yeah, I know how to make the cookies because I've made, because I've had to help him make it quite a few yeah. times. And she says, well, says, well, you, well, you want to take the butter and uh, and, uh, and all the fixings? She goes, before it goes to waste, I says, yeah, I guess I will.